Hello everyone. As a continuation of statistical mechanics and classical thermodynamics, now time to relate entropy with partition function. So entropy is a fun classical thermodynamic function where partition function is a function of statistical mechanics. So we have to relate these two in this 10th lecture. So we already have determined the expression of entropy in terms of probability W. Okay. So, and that relationship is S equals to K L and W. And also, this probability or thermodynamic probability has further expression in factorial over product over I in I factorial. We all know about this from the previous lectures. So, let's replace this value in place of W. So, we get K L in, in factorial over product over I in I factorial. Now, the logarithmic series is expanded so it becomes ln n factorial minus sum over i ln n factorial i in i factorial okay then starling approximation is applied here okay so this part ln n factorial can be written as simply n ln n minus n whereas this part can be written as sum over i n i ln n i plus sum over i n i okay so we have applied sterling approximation in both this logarithmic expressions and hence we have got what we have got is here minus n and here plus n this is nothing but n okay so these two would cancel each other so the first and third terms would be left behind in this equation so we get finally n ln n minus sum over i n i n ln n i okay and here it is also mentioned that this summation actually is nothing but n the total number of particles or total number of molecules of the system so this let's designate this as equation number one okay now in equation one what we have got now s equal to this is actually reproduced here when you are taking the note then this slide writing this slide is not necessary actually the slide is changed that's why i have read it in here okay so you need not write this anyway the Boltzmann distribution law for a non-degenerate system so what is the distribution law we all are familiar with this n i equal to n by f e to the power minus epsilon i by k t okay if natural log is taken in both sides then this part becomes ln n i and right side ln n minus ln f minus epsilon i by k t so this is written here the natural log of the right hand side okay so we have got the value of ln n i and here we can see ln ni in equation 1. So in this place we can uh, substitute this ln ni with the right hand side of this equation. Okay. So substituting this value in equation 1 we get k within bracket n ln n minus sum over i ni then the value of ln ni. What is the value of ln ni? Now the value of ln ni is ln n minus ln f minus epsilon i by kt. Now let us multiply these two this one with ln n, I n minus again this one with ln f minus again this one with epsilon n by kt so it would become what now minus sum over i n i ln n plus sum over i n i ln f plus sum over i n i epsilon i by kt when epsilon i is multiplied with n i then this epsilon i would also go inside the summation term isn't it let us see so we have multiplied in the this line we have multiplied this sum i ln uh, summation i n i with these three factors okay this these three terms and this is the result of the multiplication so here we find these two terms are same so these two would cancel each other so what is left behind what is left behind is nothing but n ln f minus sum over i n i epsilon i by kt but we know that sum over i n i epsilon i equals to internal energy of the system so instead of that we can write u okay so that is why in this line we have written k within bracket n ln f plus u by kt okay now k is multiplied this bracket is removed and k is multiplied so it becomes n k ln f and here this k is cancelled so it becomes u by t only okay so we have got the expression uh, of entropy nk ln f plus u by kt now u has some 
its own expression in terms of f and what was that in equation number a in the previous lecture now it was n k t square uh, d l n f by d t okay so putting this value n k t square d l n f by d t then this n k t square square would be removed by this d t in the denominator okay so if you put n k t square d l n f by d t you would uh, uh, in place of u by t then you would get n k t d l n f by d t so this is the final expression of entropy in terms of uh, partition function and this we have designated as equation number b and colored it highlighted this in my gender color okay so this is another relationship so that's all for this lecture thank you